And good morning. Welcome back to Morning Live. We now take a look at your sports news in this hour. And we do bring you an interview as, of course, the Vodacom Bulls will be playing host to the Sharks at the nation's capital this weekend. This is, of course, for the United Rugby Championship quarterfinal clash. And now joining us, we have Bulls prop, Simpiwe Matanzima, to talk to us just and give us a bit of a preview on what we can expect in the encounter. Good morning, Simpiwe, and welcome to Sports on Morning Live. You're very welcome. Now, St. Peter, let's talk about how a lot has changed since you arrived at the Bulls. Um, now, you were blowing hot and cold for some time until Coach Jake White arrived. Now, what would you say he has brought to the team? Um, it's been a lot of elements. You know, I think the biggest thing has been a winning culture. Obviously, like you said, before you came, we hadn't won any trophies in a while. And now we've won two trophies in, in two years, you know, and we're looking forward to compete in the URC and hopefully win that too. And I mean, it almost does feel like the job is almost done, but not quite yet. There's still a lot of work to be done as you build up to this encounter on Saturday and hopefully looking to make it into the semis. Yeah, it's, it's been a, a long road for us, you know, in the Vodacom URC, you know. If you look forward, if you look to where we started, the first couple of games on tour, we lost uh, three games out of four. And we're actually at the bottom of the table, you know. But you look at us now, you know, we're competing in the playoffs. We've got a good chance with a home quarterfinal. So, yeah, it's, it's, it looks, everything's exciting right now compared to where we were in the beginning. Now, you are also going to be coming up against a shock side that has a plenty of experience. And we know how that front row of theirs is very good. How have you guys worked on preparing to counter that and, uh, in terms of this upcoming fixture? Obviously, we acknowledge you know, it's, a, it's a massive task for us up front, uh, the forwards and the front row to be, to be more specific. But I think we've been focusing on our processes, you know, how we can improve and get what we want from the, ma from the game. And yeah, I think that's the biggest thing is focusing on our own processes. And yeah, we acknowledge it's a, it's a big task, but as long as we focus and stick to our protocol, then uh, it should go well for us. And Sipiwe, just talk us through what the current mood is in the team right now as you build up to this encounter. Is it a lot of anxiety? Is it expectation? I mean, we know that you guys want to secure a win this coming weekend, but what is the mood and the feel amongst the team members? I think it's exciting, you know, to be honest, to, to be able to host the quarterfinal at Loftus. Uh, it's a South African derby, a massive derby, and in front of our home fans, what a community playoff for the first time ever. Like, I feel like everyone's excited in the, in the squad. So we're just looking forward to the game and it's going to be a massive game. Certainly. And as you also just look back and, and, and just give us, a, as you reflect and look back at the season that has been, um, what would you say are the things that stand out for you in terms of how the team has worked so far? I think the biggest thing is resilience, you know. Like I alluded to earlier, we, we didn't start off well, you know. We we're coming off winning the Curry Cup uh, here in South Africa, then we had to tour overseas for the first four weeks and we didn't start that well. But Coach Jake told us, you know what, it, it's, it's, it's a beginning of a new competition, you know. We just need to stick there, do the hard yards and take the low road. So, yeah, I think that's the biggest thing for me. It's been the resilience of the squad and players sticking up whenever something happens, you know, there's always someone next when there's injuries, there's COVID, whatever, there's always someone sticking their hand up and performing to the level we need for the team to be successful. And as you speak about that resilience, let's also talk about leadership, which is very crucial for any team to be successful. Now, we've seen how both um, Lizo and Marcel have done a decent job on the field, but what about the leadership off the field, especially for those who are new to the team? Yeah, that's also a massive factor, you know, we, we've got a lot of young players, you know, juniors, so being able to have like Marcel, Zo, Cornwall, Arnu, guys who've, who've taken the captaincy, you know, and showing the young guys how it's done and just leading from the front base, you're not just leading in terms of speaking, but leading from a performance side of the game, so that's been massive for, for us as a squad too. 
Certainly. And as I wrap up with you, Simpiwa, we know that youth weeks are fast approaching and some young men will be beginning their rugby careers and parents are deciding where their kids will play their rugby. What are the do's and the things that you try to avoid when making this crucial decision? Uh, I think as, as a young rugby player you know, in South Africa right now, you, ju you just want to have fun, first of all, you know, enjoy the rugby. Then if, if an opportunity comes you know, to go further your rugby somewhere else, I think you just choose the place where, first of all, you need to like, like the union and you know, respect the traditions and heritage that comes with it, but also an opportunity where you feel like you can thrive, where the union plays like, a similar game that you like or where you feel like you might fit in best in terms of your game. So I think that's just some of the decisions you need to make. Obviously, there's a lot more, but I just think that's the basis of it. Thank you so much for your time here this morning and good luck for that quarterfinal clash against the Sharks this weekend. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Thank you. It is, of course, the United Rugby Championships quarterfinals taking place this weekend. Of course, after that, we'll see which teams will make it through to the semifinals. But that's how we wrap up your sports for today. We'll do it all over again tomorrow. Do have yourselves a blessed day ahead.